Hi and welcome to our Monday, May 15th auction preview video of Asian Arts. We'll begin here from a Scarsdale estate. This is a beautiful Dutch silver mounted Chinese blue and white plate. And if you just take a look at the underside here, there's a four character mark within a blue double ring. This is quite nice and estimated at five to 700. We have a pair of, sorry about that, Chinese Cloisonne mounted jardiniers with carved jade and hardstone trees. This again is from our Scarsdale estate. And these two together are offered at 400 to 600. We have a small Chinese bronze Buddha on double lotus base. We have a Chinese double Gordon sized vase with characters and old paper labels to the underside. This is an interesting lot in the sale. There are Phoenix decoration to each panel, which is quite nice. And Rui clouds, etc. From a Manhattan estate, we have this crackle glazed vase with blue and white decoration of a god or a deity riding a three-toed toad. Quite nice from at five to 700. This is a Japanese Kutani enamel decorated vase with dragon. And you can see the very nice raised enamel decoration here. Um, and then here is the dragon itself. And here is the mark to the underside. This came from a very prominent Japanese uh, dealer and collector, really a scholar in Japanese art. This is a Yoshitoshi print, um, really quite nice, signed, slight toning, but really quite nice at three to 500. From one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days, we have this Japanese lidded enamel decorated bird, um, butterflies and flower vase some slight condition issues, and then just take a look at the underside to see the mark. This is being offered at four to 600. Chinese vase, again, from one of our Walk-In Wednesday appraisal days, nice calligraphy decoration, landscape panels, and then we have the iron red elephant form handles. It is drilled through the base, but really a nice piece in the sale. A really nice, wonderful Japanese Satsuma enamel decorated uh, goose form teapot again from our same Japanese collector really quite nice um, and then this is one of again our Japanese collectors works and we have several of these coming up in our June auction so this is just the beginning of this estate but you can see the beautiful incised decoration the flying cranes and the shishi handles so really quite nice at a thousand fifteen hundred from our scar sale state, we have this um, Chinese black vase with gilt decoration. So we have a Greek key surround, we have bats and scrolling decoration, and then a double ring mark to the underside. From one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days, again, we have this three piece Chinese sensor lot. So the handles are separated. This one has bats and a central mark. This one has flowers. And this one is a floret or kind of a honeycomb design. So really quite nice. This is one of my favorite lots in the sale. This is a Japanese carved wood articulated dragon. So you can see his horns here. His mouth opens and closes and it's really beautifully articulated. So I'm not even sure how they could possibly have made this happen, but it's really wonderful. It does have three toes, which represents a Japanese dragon. Um, and it's just so nice. It's from our Scarsdale estate and this is estimated at 1,500. We have this red lacquered stand um, with floral decoration, three to 500. A really nice Chinese carved landscape vase. And it is carved on each side. So here's a nice landscape. And then let me just take this off for the time being. Here's another landscape with a figure and this little russet skin to the top corner. And this again is at 1,500. A really nice cloisonne vase, unusual with this archaic design and these masks, um, the gold florets, really beautiful, nice color variation, nice size, unusual I would say. Um, this is probably an aquamarine seal, it's Chinese, came in on one of our Walk-In Wednesday appraisal days and this is estimated at 300 to 500. Again from Scarsdale we have this grouping of Chinese export plates, enamel decorated with butterflies and flowers and there is six in this grouping. Song de Buff vase, three to 500. We have this wonderful carved jade of a boy with a cat. So really quite nice. Um, down below here, we have this calligraphy painting and this is by Zhu Shi Chang. 
and that is estimated at four to six hundred. From the same estate, we have a second calligraphy piece, and this is by Zanguo Fan. So really, again, an interesting piece, nicely framed, in good condition. A really beautiful carved jade lidded vessel, but you can just see the intricacy of the carving. So you can see that it's carved throughout with these lotus flowers. Really quite nice, with these chrysanthemums, I should say. Really beautifully carved. There are some repairs, but it's beautiful at three to 500. Another piece of jade in the sales is brush washer um, with double fish or twin fish decoration. A standing white jade figure on a carved wood base. Um, and then we have this calligraphy cup and saucer which is wonderful. The calligraphy is in style at the moment. Um, and then this is one of a pair of Chinese lobed uh, cloisonne vases matches as lamps. So this is one of two. Again, this comes from Scarsdale and they are estimated at 600 to 900. A very large Japanese cloisonne charger on fitted carved wood stand with cranes. Really quite nice, beautiful color variation in very good condition. And this is estimated at 300 to 500. And here we have from the Manhattan Estate, we have this wonderful Chinese blue and white vase and it does have the chrysanthemum decoration. Um, let's see if I can just tilt this forward so that you can see the bottom. And this came from Manhattan and this is at four to 600. We have this Burmese rain drum, came in one of our Walk and Wednesday appraisal days at four to 600. Um, and then we will end here with this large Japanese Satsuma vase. So you can see that it is a floor vase. It's quite large. It does come, it has these beautiful, let me just spin this for you. This beautiful ribbon form handles, really nice decoration. There's butterflies, there's figures, there's these wonderful scenes throughout. And then also what's very nice is that it comes with this stand. So it does sit on here quite nicely, but what I wanted you to see is that it's signed. So you can see the characters here. So those characters all across the bottom. Really quite nice. Um, I anticipate this will be one of the stars of our Asian section. And that wraps it up for our selection of Asian arts and we hope to see you on May 15th and that is Monday.